Hello, this is ASVAB Tutoring's rundown of the 15 easiest questions on the ASVAB test. Though these questions are easy, I would still advise for you to bring a pen and paper out so that you can follow along with me as we tackle these 15 questions. As always, you can download the ASVAB Prep 2024 app from the App Store or Google Play Store to practice even more questions, hard or easy. You can also visit asreptutoring.com to connect with one of our professional tutors to ensure you get the best possible grade on the ASVAB. Now that we have that out of the way, let's move on to the questions. First problem is that we have a car that travels three hours at 50 miles per hour and then slows down to 40 miles per hour for seven hours. How many miles were driven in 10 hours? I'll let you try the question out yourself. Okay, I'm assuming you've tried it out yourself. Let's actually try and work for the answers. Work for the answer. So, total miles completed is about 10 hours, which is 3 times 50 plus 40 times 7. So, which would mean it's 150 plus 280 miles which would equal to 430 miles. There you go. So that's our answer. Oops. Okay. Move on to the next question. Find the arithmetic mean of 4.5 and 9. Okay, I'll let you try it out yourself. All right. So to find the arithmetic mean here, we would just need to add 4.5 and 9 together and divide it by 2 since there are two numbers, which would mean we would have 13.5 divided by 2, which would be 6.75. Whoops. There you go. 6.75. All right, moving on to the next question. We've got a circle that has a radius of three inches. And now we need to find the approximate area. Now approximate means we need to find the precise area. That means we can take pi to equal as 3.14. So if we take the formula to find the area, we have pi multiplied by, oops. And let's just add that. Pi multiplied by r squared which would be 3.14 multiplied by 3 and squared, which would be 28.26 inches. So there we have it, 28.26 inches. All right, next question. We have to find the total thickness of two pieces of wood that are carpenter glued together. If one is 5 and 16 inches and the other is 7 over 8 inches, what is the total thickness? Well, all we would need to do is add the fractions together. 5 plus 16 plus 7 plus 8. We need to find a common denominator. We can multiply this by 2, or both numbers by 2. So we have 5 over 16 plus 14 over 16 which is 19 over 16. We see all the fractions, all the choices are mixed fractions. So to convert it to a mixed fraction, we get one over 316. Okay, well, that's our answer. And our option here is D. Okay, problem number five. The area of a rectangle is 180 square inches. If the length is 20 inches, what is the width? Okay. Width equals area divided by L. Because area is length times width. Well, if width is A divided by L, well, we can just do 180 divided by 2, which equals 9. And that's our width. So it's nine inches. Okay, problem six. 
What is the area of a triangle with a base of 8 feet and a height of 4 feet? Well, the area of a triangle, you solve it by doing half times base times height times height. So we have a half times 8 times 4, which gets us 16 feet squared, or square feet, rather. So there is our answer. All right, moving on to problem seven. In a circle, what is the di di uh. in a circle, what is the diameter in relation to the radius? Well, the diameter equals two times radius. So there you go. It's two r. Okay, problem eight, what is the sum of one sixth and one seventh? All we need to do is add the fractions together. So we have one over six plus one over seven. Let's see, which equals, we need to find the common denominator here, which is 42 plus six over 42. And then we simplify it by adding them together, and then we get 13 to 4 to 42. So we, our answer is here, 13 out of 42. Okay, problem nine. If x minus seven equals 83, then x equals, well, if x minus seven equals 83, then all we need to do is reorganize it so that 83 gets the seven, so x equals x equals 90, it seems. There you go, 90. Problem 10. Simplify 16 to 18. So 16 to 18 is a ratio. All we need to do is just we can we can we can take a look at it in terms of fractions to make it a little bit easy for ourselves. If we simplify it down, we get 8 over 9, and there you go, that's our answer. So 8 to 9 is our answer. Problem 11, the square root of 25. Well, the square root of 25 is just, we find the square root. How many times, it, it's it's pretty much just this, well, five squared. Then we just cancel these out and we get five. And there you are, five. Okay, next question. We have 12 equals X over 20. So X would equal what? Well, if we have 12 equal x over 20, uh, then we need to multiply both sides by 20. So 12 times 20 equals x. So that would mean that 240 is equal to x. And there we go. That is our answer there. So option C. Problem number 13. We've got solve the following equation for D b equals a d so we have b equals a d and that would be d equals b a by simply moving around shuffling around and dividing the pieces uh, solving solving for d means we need to divide both sides by b so uh, both sides by a sorry so b divided by a there you go b divided by a okay problem 14 the value of five Exclamation mark is, well, five in uh, exclamation mark means factorial. So five factorial is, whoops, five times four times three times two times one, which gives us 120. Now uh, let's do that one more time. Make that a little bit clearer. There you go, 120. And there you have it. That is our answer. Option C. And the last question of the bunch. What is 11 cubed? Well, 11 cubed is, we just need to do 11 times 11. So 11 cubed goes 11 times 11 times 11. So we get 1, 3, 3, 1 as our answer. And there you are. Whoops. And that's that. For now, we've reached the end of these 15 questions. 
As always, you can download the ASVAB Prep 2024 app from the App Store or Google Play Store to practice even more questions hard or easy. You can also visit asvabtutoring.com to connect with one of our professional tutors to ensure you get the best possible grade on the ASVAB. As always, see you next time.